show that a is equals to 12 and b is equals to minus 36 these are unknowns on our cubic function so what the equation is basically asking us to do is to find the equation of the graph we have h of x that is equals to minus x to the power 3 plus a x to the power 2 plus b x plus c let's look at our graph and see the information we're given uh, we have 2x intercept one at x is equals to zero and another one at x is equals to six we are told that the coordinates of b is six for the x value and zero for the y value so our cubic function has two roots of which one is x is equals to zero if that is the case we can always use h of x is equals to k multiplied by x minus x1 multiplied by x minus x2 squared right of which the x you're squaring is the x value at the turning point so h of x will be equals to the value of k we have the value of k from our equation we know that h of x is equals to minus x to the power 3 so minus 1 is the value of k so we're going to have minus here and then x minus x1 x1 is x is equals to 0 so we're just gonna have x minus 0 multiplied by x minus x2 x2 is the x value of b which is 6 so we have x minus 6 squared so this is what we have to solve to find the equation of our cubic function uh, h of x will then be equals to minus x multiplied by now we have x minus 6 squared which we need to solve so the way of doing it what is x multiplied by x that is x squared what is x multiplied by minus 6 that is minus 6x you multiply that by 2 to get minus 12x and then what is minus 6 multiplied by minus 6 that is plus 36 right so h of x will now be equals to minus x to the power 3 plus 12 x squared minus 36 x and just like that we have uh, the equation of h of x and then now we can finally extract a and b 12 will be the value of a and then minus 36 will be the value of b well we're not looking for c but it's easy to see now that c will be equals to zero so that is 9.1 let's look at 9.2 let's calculate the coordinates of a so a is a turning point just like b we have two turning points a and b of which we always have two turning points on a cubic function uh, but anyway stories how can we find the coordinates of these turning points now we have our equation h of x which is equal to minus x to the power 3 plus 12 x squared minus 36 x what you have to know about the turning point is that the gradient is equal to zero so we can derivate h of x and equate it to zero and the x values that we're going to find are the x values at the turning points because that is where the gradient is equal to zero so let's go ahead and do that h prime of x will be equal to so we just derivate in using the power rule we're going to get minus 3 x to the power 2 plus 24x minus 36 we have to equate this to 0 if we want to find the x values at the turning points so we're going to have minus 3x squared plus 24x minus 36 being equals to 0 uh, let's take minus 3 as a common factor on the left hand side we're going to have minus 3 uh, we're left with x squared and on 24x if we take out to minus 3 we're going to be left with so that is 8 16 24 so we're left with uh, minus 8x and then if we take minus 3 from 36 we're going to be from minus 36 we're going to be left with plus 12 and this is all equals to 0 we're going to divide both sides by uh, minus 3 we're going to get x squared 
minus 8x plus 12 is equal to 0. So this is what we need to factorize in order to find the x values at the turning points. So the way to factorize it, which two numbers do we multiply and get 12? But when we add them, we get minus 8. That is minus 6 and minus 2. So that is to say that x minus 6 multiplied by x minus 2 is equal to 0. So it's easy to see now that x is equal to 6 or x is equal to 2. Right, so x is equal to 6 is the x value at b. x is equal to 6 is the x value at b. So that tells us that x is equal to 2 is the x value at point a uh, but we're not looking for the x value of point a we're looking for the coordinates so we have to substitute this x is equal to q into h of x uh, if we do that we're gonna get h uh, of q being equals to minus x of which it is 2 now to the power 3 uh, what is our equation again? Plus 12 multiplied by 2 squared minus 36 multiplied by 2. Yeah, now it's just a matter of putting that in your calculator and you're going to get minus 32. So the coordinates of A is 2 and minus 32. That is the answer to 9.2. Yeah, there's a lot of math we have to do, but it's not really uh, that demanding. Uh, let's look at 9.3. Calculate the value of Y. So why is the Y value of T? We're given the X value. So what are we doing here? We're just substituting and that's it. So we're going to have H of 3 h of 3 being equals to minus 3 to the power 3 plus 12 multiplied by 3 minus 36 multiplied by 3. So you put that in your calculator and you get minus y is equals to minus uh, 27. And just like that we have answered uh, 9.3. Let's look at 9.4. Is the graph of H concave up or concave down at point T? Show all your calculations. So let's just uh, remove this so we can have uh, a bit of clarity. So we are interested at X is equals to 3. This part of the function is concave up and this part of the function is concave down but then the concavity it changes somewhere in the middle somewhere in the middle our concavity changes so let's find out uh, at which x value does our concavity changes so that we can know whether x is equal to 3 it's on the concave up or on the concave down part of our cubic function so to find uh, the uh, x value for which the concavity changes you have to find the second derivative of your function so we've already said that the first derivative uh, is equals to minus 3x to the 2 plus 24x minus 36 so we're going to derivate this again to find the x value uh, of which our concavity changes so if we do that, we're going to get minus 6x plus 24. We equate this to 0. So minus 6x plus 24 is equals to 0. So minus 6x is equals to minus 24. We're just dividing both sides by 6. So we get x is equals to dividing both sides by minus 6, not 6. We're going to get x is equals to 4. So our concavity changes at x is equals to 4. So at x is equals to 3, our graph is still concave up. Right, so let me just extend this line. So we are still concave up here. Uh, our graph changes somewhere there at x is equals to 4. So at t, our graph is concave up concave up so the answer is concave up for 9.4 uh, let's look at 9.5 9.5 is saying let's determine the coordinates of the point of interaction right so when the concavity changes the point where the concavity changes is our point of inflection so we already have the x value for the point of inflection we can just substitute this x value into h of x so h of uh, h of 4 
uh, if you do that math you're gonna get uh, minus 16 so this is uh, the coordinates of our point of inflection